you came and you won nothing, you would still have had a wonderful day. You just oh, wanted to have yes. a good time. How's it been? Fantastic. It's been a marvellous day. Can't thank everybody enough. Is it, is it very different from watching it on television? Very, very different. Your mind, you know, can go complete blank. Don't tell me. I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done very well. You've got a prize as well. Yes, you won the, the table and trolley. trolley. Mm -hmm. Well, pleasure meeting you. Thanks for coming on the show thank today. You. And Henry, you got in there at last. A late surge as far as the yeah. points were concerned. Late start. Yeah, I bet you'll let your hair down, if you'll pardon the expression, oh, when, you get yeah. to, <laughs> when you get to Lanzarote. I will do, yeah. Have you enjoyed it? I have indeed. Enjoyed it very, very much. Have a good time. Send us a postcard, won't you? No, do. Yeah, OK. You both get, of course, the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune watch, but for you, Anne, the time has come to leave this wheel behind and go for that possible fortune. Come with me. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf. There you are. Whoop. <laughs> you walk past the cameras there. Yeah. Normally, of course, you sit home and you have a glass of beer and a cigarette, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Watching this. Yes. It's much easier when you're in the studio, though, isn't it? It's not bad at all. I think, I you're, the, I think you're the oldest of our senior citizens tonight, aren't I you? Must be How old are you? 70. You're not quite as old as Steve Hamilton, though. What are, what are the big prizes, Steve? Well, Anne, the wheel was with you, and now you can choose. Will it be an incredible holiday in Bangkok, Hong Kong, Singapore, and beautiful Bali? Or will you take a bumper bonus with the big wheel jackpot of £4,000? Or would you like to take off back to Plymouth tonight in our star car, the fabulous Vauxhall Nova Family Saloon? Pick a prize and solve a clue. And good luck. Other two have got their fingers crossed for you. Everyone in the audience were wishing and hoping. Which are you going to have? I'll go for the car. Do you want to have a look at it? Yes. Lovely, isn't it? I can't. As you go, so. The only thing that stands between you and the car are these two words. Have a look at them. Those two words together make up the name of a well-known television program. So you know what to do here. It's yeah. six letters I'm after, five consonants and one vowel. The letters that you give me that appear in the puzzle will light up on the board, helping you to solve it, and we hope win that car. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the consonants. K for Kate. She considers. Yep. R for Rita. Yep. T for Tommy. Yes. Two more consonants. M for Mary. M for Mary. One more. And N for Nancy. And N for Nancy. One vowel. E for Eric. Good luck, Anne. Let's put those letters into the puzzle. It's a TV program. You've got 15 seconds to solve it and win the car. Go for it. This morning? Yes. <laughs> Shocked, Anne puts her head in her hands. Nikki takes an emotional Anne's hands. Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, Anne, I can't believe it! Oh, Anne! There we are, Carol, there we are. This morning. And that's it for this evening. And we'll see you this time next week. Take care. The end credits roll. Les Dennis, Bob Monkhouse, Max Bygraves. Who's hosting Family Fortunes? Time to find out, next here on Challenge. And then if you're quizzing tonight, Chris will keep the hot seat warm for you, but use your lifelines wisely. Classic Millionaire is at 10. said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online. Sponsors of Challenge. Roll up, roll up. The greatest show on earth is back in town. And there's something for everyone. We've got amazing magicians. Extraordinary escape artists. Gravity-defying acrobats. It defies description. Audacious jugglers. Oh, it's fabulous. And even... Absolutely free. Holland! 
Yes, there's something for everyone in the greatest show on earth. The one and only Premier League is back. To add Sky Sports, go to sky.com slash sports. Arrows, archers, throwers and knowers. This show has all the darting fun. Game on for Bullseye. We days at five on Challenge. 66. Give us a clickety-click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Five gold signs depicting men and women stand in a row. The heads turn into gold coins, two of which form the letter O in the phrase double money. That then slides away and is replaced by the words big money in gleaming gold letters. The five men and women signs reappear and morph into the show's name, Family Fortunes. It's Family Fortunes and tonight's families are John, Fiona, Rob, Stephanie and Yvonne, the Hayes family. And they're playing Dennis, Chris, James, Stephen and Jill, the Cooper family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. On stage, the two families each stand behind long curved counters facing each other. Thank you, welcome to you once again at home and here in the studio audience to Family Fortunes. As usual, we've been round the country surveying 100 people. We have the answers to their questions on our computerised board and our two smashing families are hoping to go all the way and find those answers and play big money and win £3,000. That's enough of that, let's meet the families. Les goes over and greets the Hayes family on the left of the screen. And our first family tonight are the Hayes family. John, how are you? Good evening, Les. I'm very well, thank Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. Where have you brought your family from, John? From Manchester. Manchester. Introduce us. My daughter, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi. Her husband, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Les. My daughter, Stephanie. Hello, Steph. Hi, My Les. My daughter, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Les. Good to see you. Good family, eh? Super family. Great. And uh, what do you do, John, I'm in Manchester? I'm a self-employed builder. A self-employed builder. Oh, I bet you lot come in for some stick, don't you, eh? A lot of stick, Les. Hey? <laughs> a lot of stick. Do you get into trouble with some of the jobs you do? So so. Yeah. <laughs> what about why does a builder always tell you like it'll take six weeks and then it takes six years? <laughs> they do, don't they, eh? Oh no, but it's six weeks, honestly. That's up maximum. Still there two years later, all the kitchen and everything. <laughs> and the right stuff. Can I get near the sink? No, I can't get it. Why is that, John? The money's up front. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So that's all you have to that's say. Right. No, we're only having a joke with you. Okay, that's the Hayes family. Let's go over and meet the Coopers. Les shakes hands with Dennis. Dennis. Pleased to meet you. Well, where have you brought the Cooper family from? We've come out from Portsmouth. That's nice, the Cooper family from Portsmouth. Very <laughs> 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 well. Introduce us, Dennis, to your family. Oh, this is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that. Do that again. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris. <laughs> Hello. And this is my son, James. Hello, James. Hello, Les. And my son, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Les. And that's my sister, Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello, Les. It's a good photo, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Dennis? I'm a ship's engineer. I thought you were an impressionist the way you did all that. <laughs> ship's engineer? Yeah, I work for Sea Link. I'm, yeah? I, on the ferry, goes across to Ryde, across to Solent. Oh, I go over there yep. quite a lot myself to the Isle of Wight. Yeah, well, I expect to see you then. All right, then. Dennis, the well, that's the Coopers and the Hayes, the families. Let's play Family Fortune. John and Dennis join Les at the lectern. Come on, Dennis. <laughs> Nearly missed the ferry out, then. <laughs> all right. 100 people have been surveyed, you know the rules. We have the top eight answers in this first game. If you feel you have one of those answers, fellas, then press your buzzin. Buzzin, buzzin, or your buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> you can press what you like, but... <laughs> top eight answers. We asked 100 people to name an occupation which requires a special kind of hat. Dennis. A policeman. A policeman, all right. A policeman requires a special kind of hat. Policeman! It's there, but there's a more popular one, John. If you can find answer number one, you can take control of the board. What do you think? A nurse. Let's look for a nurse. It's there, but it's not as popular as policemen. Dennis, what are you going to do as a family? Play, play, play. 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 OK, play. rejoin your family then, and we come to you, Chris. Um, Good. Fireman. Uh, we're looking for... Do you have a... What's that? Trumpton. See that with all Houston. the firemen? Hugh, Hugh, Barney McGrew, <laughs> Trumpton, <laughs> Trumpton, Trumpton. Have you seen that show? <laughs> Four houses and there's a fire every week. <laughs> We're looking for a fireman. Answer number three is a fireman. <laughs> Fourteen people agreed with you, Chris. Hiya, James. Hi, Les. Do you have any hobbies? 
Well, I don't really know. <laughs> I was quite impressed by that. Hey, mate, calm yourself down now. Oh, as well. Ooh, Percy Sugden. <laughs> An occupation which requires a special kind of act, James. Um, a builder. We're looking for a builder. <laughs> it's there, it's answer number five. And you win a prize, James. Steve, what does James want? Well, James, murderer or victim, you can find out for yourself on this Who Done It weekend for two. Lovely. Yeah? Great stuff. All right, Stephen, what do you think? Um, postman. Postman. Requires a special kind of hat. Better than walking the streets, a postman. <laughs> it might be true, but it isn't there. We have lost a life. Jill. Bus conductor. Okay. We're looking for a bus conductor. Two lives have gone already. The Hayes might get a chance to steal if you can come up with one of those missing answers. Dennis, got to go carefully. A traffic warden. Traffic warden! <laughs> no, oh. so we come over to Yvonne. Soldier. Soldier? Soldier. 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 Well, that's soldier. <laughs> that's the answer that you're going to go with, John, all right? Yeah. Don't forget, as head of the family, you can go with a different answer, but it seems to be the popular one. If it's one of the missing answers, then you have the money in the bank. If not... The £54 goes to the Coopers. We're looking for Soldier. <laughs> yes, I'm Soldier was answer number eight and scored four. £54 to the Hayes. No money yet to the Coopers. And the missing answers. Number seven. A cricketer. Number six. A minor. And any ideas from our studio audience what that top answer might be? A chef. A chef. All right, let's have a look. Number one is a chef. OK, let's play on. The next pair step up to the lectern and shake hands. Chris and Fiona. Top five answers in this, our second game. We asked 100 people to name something a man likes to show off. <laughs> Fiona. Hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> Take the notice of that lot. <laughs> We're looking for a hairy chest. <laughs> yes, it's there, but there are three more popular ones. Chris. His appearance. His dress appearance. His appearance, OK. The way he's dressed, is that what you mean? Yeah. His appearance. <laughs> it isn't there. So, Fiona, you have control of the board. Okay. OK. You rejoin your family, and remember, we come to Rob. Fiona, you're married, aren't you, you and Rob? Yes. Yeah. I what does been. he like to show off? Do you think? Oh, you're not allowed oh, to say. Can't it. say here. Can't say. Rob, what do you think? Uh, car. Okay. Not if it's a Skoda. No. <laughs> 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 he likes to show off his car. It's the top answer. Well played, Rob. Yeah. You get a prize for that, Steve. Oh, what has Rob won? Well, Rob, you'll be able to show off after a workout on this complete home gymnasium. Yeah. Rob gives wife Fiona a hug. Oh, How long have you been married? <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Rachel can't keep his hands off. <laughs> Stephanie, what do you think? Uh, muscles. Muscles, OK. Yeah. You're in a band, aren't you? you play I a am. Band? Yes, I do. Yeah? yeah? What kind of band is it? Well, it, I play, it's alternative music, like the Smiths and the Mondays and... Oh, yeah? Yeah, play the bass guitar. Do you? Yeah. Do you sing as well? Oh, no. No? You haven't heard me sing? <laughs> well, play the bass for it. Oh, you haven't got it with you. All right, Steph, we're looking for... What was it again? Muscles, biceps. OK, is muscles, is physique? Muscles! <laughs> muscles or physique? Answer number two, well played. <laughs> Yvonne, what do you think? His wallet. His wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> no, <John. laughs> Is that when he shows off when he's going, hey, look at the money I got, kid? We're looking for money. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Answer number five is cash. <laughs> and we're doing well with the prizes tonight, Yvonne. You got a prize, Steve. It'll be just like a second honeymoon. You've won a romantic weekend for two in Rome. <laughs> Yvonne, who are you taking? Les, my husband. Les, your husband, where is he? 
Leslie, <laughs> you're going on a romantic second honeymoon. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right, then, John, what do you think? Oh, I think it's got to be his wife. It's got to be his wife, <laughs> yeah. OK? A man likes to show off his woman, his wife. <laughs> what is Sweep of the board gives you £150 after two rounds. That's the Hayes family and the Coopers you have yet to score, but don't worry, it's early days and there's double money in the second half. So there are no reveals to reveal. Let's play on. Rob and James step up to the lectern. Look, James. James and Rob. OK, top seven answers on the board. We asked 100 people to name something that flashes. James. Traffic light. Traffic light, yes. A traffic light. Oh, it isn't there. So, Rob, what do you think? An ambulance car. An ambulance sure. car. All right. <laughs> You're up there doing it, then. Let's have a look for... There it is. An ambulance car. Ambulance. <laughs> Police, fire, all ambulance. We accept, so it's there. What are you going to do? OK. okay. okay. Yeah. All right, we come to... We come to you, Stephanie. What do you prefer, Steph or Stephanie? Steph. Steph, OK. Yeah. Something that flashes. A torch. A torch. Flashes on and off. We're looking for a torch. Yes, answer number five. Ten people agreed with you. <laughs> Yvonne, do you have any hobbies? I play badminton. Do you? Yeah, occasionally. Do you play it well? No. And the family say you do a lot of crying. Yes. Why do you cry? <laughs> when I watch Surprise, Surprise. <laughs> when you watch Surprise, Surprise? <laughs> All right, Chuck, do you really cry? <laughs> when we bring in John from South America, who hasn't seen his lost brother. That's right. <laughs> oh, they cry. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Something that flashes? A car indicator. OK. Yes, no, it's on, it's off. We're looking for a car indicator. <laughs> answer number seven. <laughs> Going well here. We've got four answers to find and no lives lost. John? Uh, strobe lights. Strobe lights. We're looking for, at a disco, a strobe lights. <laughs> disco lights, answer number three. And you get a prize there, John. What have we got, Steve? Now you'll be able to relax from your building work on this super garden furniture. <laughs> Just think you can take it round when you're building and put it in other people's gardens. <laughs> That's it. Fiona. Um... Going to need an answer from you, Fiona. Sorry, I can't think. You can't think of anything? You sure? Before the buzzer? Yeah. There it goes, so we lose a life. We come to you, Rob. Two, um, three answers to find. Flasher. A flasher? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what they were thinking before. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, unless it's really cold and then he just describes himself. <laughs> <laughs> no conferring, remember. Right, we're looking for a flasher. <laughs> yes, there's your old man. <laughs> well played. Steph. Yes, something that flashes. Something that flashes. Uh... Sorry, I just can't No, think. it's gone. We've lost two lives, so the Coopers, you might get a chance to steal. Depends on Yvonne's answer. Pedestrian lights. Pedestrian lights, OK. Like a pelican crossing. Pedest yeah. We're looking for pedestrian lights. <laughs> no, so we come over to the Coopers. What do you think, Jill? In position for... Traffic lights. Traffic lights we've already had, uh, Stephen. Um... I would have said Felicia Beacon, actually. Felicia Beacon is a different no, one, James. No, just good. Felicia Beacon. Felicia Beacon. The little Chris. green man on the pelican. The little green man Pelicans that flashes. Flashing. He's always flashing, isn't he? Yeah. All right, Dennis. <laughs> you can go with any answer, or as head of the family, you can take an answer of your own. I say um, the fire alarm. The fire alarm flashes. Okay. If it's one of those, sorry. Uh, okay. Well, let's have a look for a fire alarm flashing to win the money. A fire alarm. No, so it goes for the Hayes family. <laughs> and at the end of the first half, the Hayes family have £203 and the Coopers have no money. Let's have a look. Answer number two is... Lightning flashes. And the top answer is... A lighthouse. OK, so we're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes when one of our families will be going through to big money and playing for £3,000. Join us.
Legends 82. You're straight on through to the next round. I like making sure I've got all the right tools for the job. And now that I'm 50, that means looking after the life I've built. Protecting my life if anything happened to me. That's why I decided to learn more about Over 50s Life Insurance from Cover Today. They're the only Over 50s Life Insurer with no waiting period. Unlike other insurers who could make you wait up to two years for full cover, with Cover Today you're fully covered from day one. And you're covered for the whole of your life. Plus, unlike other things in life, the price never goes up. Learning more couldn't be simpler. Go online or talk to their friendly UK team in just one phone call. Cover Today are the only over 50s life insurer with no waiting period and no annoying trips to the doctors either. Plus, you get your choice of a £125 gift card. Cover Today has given me genuine peace of mind. And now that's done, I can get on with something much more interesting. To find out more about Cover Today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 068 7586 or visit covertoday.co.uk. Every time a wave dumped down on us, I honestly thought we were going to die. When I hit the rocks and it knocked all the wind out of me, that's when panic set in. I shouted, I shouted, nobody help me. RNLI volunteers are on call 24 hours a day to rescue people in danger by the coast or at sea. But the RNLI is a charity and our crew members are volunteers. We can't save lives without you. Please donate £3 a month and help our crews to save everyone they can and come home safely too. Just call 0330-678-1725 or search RNLI now. Your dog's gorgeous. Isn't she? <laughs> Can you believe we got her to protect our home? Very sure alarm is all you need. 24-7 monitoring. Get to check on Crusher if you pop out. Good idea. Isn't it Crusher? Verishore Alarms. Get a free indoor camera installed with your Zero Vision Alarm installation. Call now or visit verishore.co.uk. With Post Office Over 50's live cover, you can have the time of your life. Safe in the knowledge we'll pay out money when your time is up. UK resident 50 to 80, your guaranteed acceptance. No health checks and from just £1.15 a week. Plus, free 24-7 GP access with the health and wellbeing benefit. Purchase and receive a £100 gift card for Amazon.co.uk, Tesco or M&S. Call Post Office on 0800 171 2211. From the Arctic to the tropics and rivers to rainforests, get closer to islands bursting with life. Roll up, roll up, the greatest show on earth is back in town. And there's something for everyone. We've got amazing magicians, extraordinary escape artists, gravity-defying acrobats, it defies description, audacious jugglers, oh, it's fabulous. and even... An absolute freak. Hollows! There's something for everyone in the greatest show on earth. The one and only Premier League is back. To add Sky Sports, go to sky.com slash sports. Oh, Queen Bee, you've buzzed too early again. Family Fortunes, part two. Les makes his way to the front of the stage. Welcome back. You join us with the Hayes family from Manchester who have won a home gymnasium, a weekend in Rome, some garden furniture and £203 they have in the bank, and the Cooper family from Portsmouth who have won a whodunit weekend and as yet have no money in the bank. We've seen this before where a family has come back from nothing, so there's nothing to be discouraged about as we play double money. Les heads back to the lectern and he's joined by the next couple. Stephen? Stephen and Stephanie. All right. Top five answers on the board in this, our double money first round. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people to name a show business personality who is Welsh. <laughs> Stephen? Tom Jones. Tom Jones. Let's have a look for Jones the Voice. <laughs> Tom Jones is there. The Steph. Shirley Bassey. Shirley Bassey. If Shirley Bassey is number one, then you have control of the board. We're looking for Shirley Bassey. It's there, but it means you have control of the board. Steve, what are you going to do? Play. OK, we rejoin you here. And we come to you, Jill. Uh, Harry Seacombe. OK, yes, yes, yes. We're looking for Harry Seacombe. <coughs> Top answer. Jill. What? You've got a, a prize, a month's. Supply of cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what have we got? 
Well, now you can watch Harry Seacom on this portable remote control television. Well played, Jill. All right, Dennis, we've got two answers to find. You really need this to come back into the game. Richard Burton. Richard Burton, yes. The voice again. Richard Burton. <laughs> Good answer, but it isn't there, so we lose a life. Got to go very carefully, Chris. Um, You're going to say Harry Seacombe? Yeah, gonna but say... he's been gone. Yeah. Um... Well, he hasn't gone. <laughs> you haven't gone, Harry, Richard... honestly, if you're watching. <laughs> See you on Highway on Sunday. Is Richard Harris Welsh? Richard Harris? I don't, uh, think, he's I don't think he's Welsh, but we have to accept it as an answer. If you give me an answer, then we have to look for Richard Harris. <laughs> we lose two lives, so the Hayes might get a chance to steal, and if they steal, they go through to big money. James, got to go carefully. Uh, well, when the going gets tough, Bond gets clever. <laughs> oh, we've got a bit of Sean Connery here. <laughs> He's Scottish. I know. He, <laughs> I, I know where I come from. <laughs> it's become but Jimmy I... Stewart now. It's, <laughs> it's gone from James Bond to James Stewart. Uh, it's the gun shots. Yeah, James. <laughs> Ali Jones. I'm glad you said that. The gun what? Ali... Shots, all right. Um, <laughs> Ali Jones. Ali Jones, all right. We're looking for Ali Jones to stay in the game. Ali Jones. <laughs> Good answer, but no. So, Yvonne. Max Boyce. Max Boyce. Max Boyce. Max Boyce. Max Boyce. Well, John? I'm going with Max Boyce. You're going to go with Max Boyce. Have you got another answer as a, as a... No. You weren't thinking about anybody else? OK, if Max Boyce is one of the two missing answers, then you get the £144, <laughs> which takes you well through the £300 barrier and into big money. If not, the Coopers get a chance to get back into the game. Right. Max Boyce. Yes. Max Boyce was the third best answer. Ah, oh, Dennis. Lovely sportsmanship there, cheering them away. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. It was just sadly that you didn't get into the game there. But uh, you, you're not going empty handed. You're taking with you a Who Done It weekend and, of course, that portable colour television. Yeah which Jill won just at the end there, but no money. But they have been a smashing family, haven't they? The Coopers from Portsmouth. But before you go... Before you go, Dennis and the family, I'm sure you want to know that missing answer. Have you got any ideas now what it might be? No. No? no. no? What? Neil Kinnitch. <laughs> Show business? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I suppose so. <laughs> what about our studio audience? Any ideas? Ruth Madder. Ruth Madder. Seems to be a popular one. Heidi High. We could have Ruth Madder. <laughs> Let's have a look for answer number four, which is yeah. Ruth Madder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Coopers. The Coopers leave the set. Les congratulates the Hayes family. Okay, John, who's playing big money? My daughter Fiona and Yvonne. Fiona and Yvonne, join me at the mic, please. Les waits by the mic at the front of the stage as Fiona and Yvonne make their way over. All right, Yvonne, you're going to play first. Fiona, you're going to put the headset on in our soundproof booth so you can't hear any of Yvonne's answers, and we'll see you in a minute, OK? Mm -hmm. See you in a minute. Right, I'm going to ask you, you know the rules of the game, big money. I ask you five questions, you have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Just a little closer to the mic. OK, Yvonne? Yeah, fine. Good luck. Can I have 15 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. <laughs> Name a job that involves climbing ladders. Builder. A regular prize in a Christmas raffle? Turkey. Any famous brothers? Cray twins. A commodity found in a mine? Coal. Something that comes in bunches? Flowers. Whee! <laughs> Sounds good! It's <laughs> like school exams and all that, innit, eh? <laughs> OK, we need 200 points to add to the £347 you already have in the bank and the home gym, the weekend in Rome, and the garden furniture. We're going for that £3,000. First of all, I asked you to name a job that involves climbing a ladders. You said... Builder, thinking of John. <laughs> Our survey said... <laughs> 12 people said Builder. <laughs> it's a good start, don't worry. And then I asked you to name a regular prize in a Christmas raffle. You said... A turkey. Our survey said... 31, 43 scores. Going well. Then I asked his name, any famous brothers. You said... The Cray Twins. Our survey said... 20. Good. Then I asked you to name a commodity found in a mine. You said... Coal. Our survey said... 40. We're through the halfway barrier. 103. 
One answer to reveal. Finally, I asked you to name something that comes in bunches. You said... Flowers. Sounds good to me. Our survey said... 40, 143. Well done. Rejoin your family, Yvonne. We'll clear the board and bring Fiona back. Fiona comes over and stands beside Les. Have some music in there, as you could. All right, then. Right, I'm going to ask you five questions, the same five questions that I've already asked Yvonne, who scored 143. So you only need 57. But remember, she's good. Remember, a lot of the top answers will have gone. So if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound during your 20 seconds, and I'll ask you for another answer, OK? Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers that I got from Yvonne? I'm going to have 20 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. We want you to win. Name a job that involves climbing ladders. Window cleaner. A regular prize in a Christmas raffle. <coughs> Hamper. Any famous brothers? The Cray brothers. Another? Um, Bonnie and Clyde. A commodity found in a mine? Coal. Something else? Uh, iron. Something that comes in bunches? Flowers. Something else? Bananas. <laughs> Let's see. That's OK, you just did it. Just, I think you just, we might have just got it in I before time was it. up. That's all right, it's OK. Let's see, we want you to win. We only need 57. Stop saying you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 57, we need to win the £3,000 to add to the prizes and the £347 you already have in the bank. First of all, I asked you to name a job that involves climbing ladders. You said... A window cleaner. Good answer. Our survey said... 45! <laughs> Top answer. 188, we need 12. Then I asked you to name a regular prize in a Christmas raffle. You said... Hamper. It has to be worth 12 or more. You said hamper. Our survey said... 16! <laughs> well played! The rest of the family rush over to Fiona. The end. The closing credits are shown on the faces of a rotating cube, along with clips of the Hayes family. Fancy another one? Oh, go on then. I don't mind if I do. Game on for more family fortunes next here on Challenge. And then later we dim the lights, turn up the tense music, and try and reach that million pound mark. Classic Millionaire, weeknights at 10. You've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. When Tony passed, we wanted to celebrate him his way. All he ever spoke about was bite this, bite that. I'll never forget our first date. Huge grin on his face as he rode up on that big noisy thing. And that's exactly the way he'd want to be remembered. At Co-op, we know everyone is different. That's why we offer funeral plans to funeral services that are personal every step of the way. Co-op, it's what we do. Hey, good news, Dad. Get help improving your credit score with Clear Score. Here we are. The UK's number one credit score and report app. Evening. Hey, hey, before you choose tonight's dinner, have you seen these Co-op member prices? I know. All this and more just by being a co-op member. Co-op members save more just by being a member. And you can sign up in seconds on your phone. Even a proper donut knows co-op members save more with member prices. Sign up and save more. Bit rude. Help your kids get to grips with their cash with NatWest Rooster Money. They can save for what they want, manage their money, and even help out to earn extra cash. You'll get alerts and can easily top them up. Download the app and sign up for your Rooster card. First month free, then $1.99 a month. Search NatWest Rooster Money in your app store. NatWest. Tomorrow begins today. Rivers 
to rainforests. Get closer to islands bursting with life. Ailey, are you ready for another web-slinging adventure across the Spider-Verse? Wait. Okay, now we're ready. Wanna get out of here? So wait a minute, there's an elite crew with all the best spider people in it? You have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. I'm gonna do my own thing. All stations, stop Spider-Man. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, available now in Sky Store, the ultimate movie collection. If you needed a reason to stay with us, then we've got a million of them. Chris is here to play Classic Millionaire, weeknights at 10, new on Challenge. Congratulations, number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Five gold signs depicting men and women stand in a row, the heads turn into gold coins, two of which form the letter O in the phrase double money. That then slides away and is replaced by the words big money in gleaming gold letters. The five men and women signs reappear and morph into the show's name, Family Fortunes. It's Family Fortunes and tonight's families are Enid, Chrissy, Mandy, Julie and Lee, the Wibland family. They're playing Tash, Margaret, Sam, John, and Vanessa, the Burdette family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. On stage, the two families stand behind long curved counters facing each other. Thank you, thank you. Here we are again. As usual, we've got two great families who are hoping to find the answers that are to the questions that are concealed behind our computerized board and possibly go on to big money and win three thousand pounds. Okay. Let's meet the families. First, Les goes over to meet the Wibbling family on the left of the screen. And our first family play tonight are the Wibbling family. Is that the right way of That's saying it? That's the right it? way, Les, The yes. Wibbling family. It's, a, it's an unusual name. I usually say the Wobbling Wibblings. The Wobbling, the Wobbling Wibblings. Why is that? <laughs> Just Wobbling Wibblings. All right, Wobbling Wibblings. <laughs> All right, Enid, introduce us to the Wobbling Wibblings. This is my eldest daughter, Chrissy. Hi, Hi Chrissy. Hi, Les. My youngest daughter, Mandy. Hi, Hello, Mandy. Les. My second daughter, Julie. Hi, Julie. And her husband, Lee. Hi, Hi Lee. Good to see you. And uh, where are you from, Enid? We're from Dawlish in sunny Devon. Dawlish. The Wibbling Wobblings from Dawlish. That's right, that's right. <laughs> And do you have any hobbies, Enid? Um, I think my main hobby is writing to our local DJ on our local radio, Devon. Oh, really? I write to him and phone him up quite often. How often? Our birthdays. Um, well, whenever we have a family birthday or yeah. friends' anniversary. And you get mentions on the radio? Oh, definitely, all the time. Yeah, and if he's watching tonight, he'll yes. think, I'll give yes. you another mention. Can I say hello to him? Of course you can, Enid. Hi, Ian. <laughs> hi, hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Hello, Ian. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> What's his name again? Ian Brass. Ian Brass. Ian hello, Brass. Ian Brass. How are you? Nice to meet you. He's on the radio, he can't see us. <laughs> That's the Wibbling family. Let's go over and meet the Burdette family. Les shakes hands with Tash. Tash! Yeah. Tash Burdette. That's, that's as unusual a name as Enid, Enid Wibbling. Why are you oh, called yeah. Tash, Tash? Um, that's what the locals call me. They've been calling me for years at Woodford. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. any reason? Because you've got a Tash, Tash? Uh, yeah. That's basically, so I've got one, yeah. What's your real name, Tash? Uh, when I haven't got it, me. Yeah. Tashless. Tashless. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a real name before Tash Tash. Uh, yeah, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry Tash. All right, Tash, Terry, Terry. Introduce to your family, Tash. Uh, Terry, this is Mrs. Tash, my Hello. wife. Hello, Hello Margaret. Tash. Margaret. Hello. This is my daughter, Samantha. Hi, Hi Samantha Liz. Tash. That's my brother, John. Hi, John. Hi, Liz. Hi, and Tash. Uh, John's wife, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, Liz. Good to see you. And what do you do, Tash? Um, I'm a seed importer. You know what? Seed. Importer? Yeah. Yeah, well, you bring tennis players over. <laughs> no, 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 not tennis players, no, no. What kind of seeds? Are... Rape seeds. Pardon? A bit of rape. Yeah. Uh, sunflower seed, canary seed. Yeah, so you sell these seeds to garden well, we centres? Well, we make them up into mixes, you know, special mixes. And right, uh, for farmers and...? No, mainly for the wholesale trade. For the wholesale trade. OK, well, there are the families. Let's play Family Fortune. Enid and Tash join Les at the lectern. Tash and Enid. Yeah. OK. 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. We asked 100 people, don't forget, press your buzzer if you feel you have one of the answers, to name something that annoys you in a supermarket. Enid. People pushing in the queue. People pushing in the queue. All right, then. People pushing in. <coughs> no. It annoys us, but it isn't there. Tash. Uh, people writing out checks. People writing out checks in At front of till, you? Yeah. At the till, OK. Writing out checks. 
Slow checks. Yeah, or slow checkout we accept. So, Tash, what do you want to do as a family? Play. Play. We'll play. play. Okay, rejoin your family, Tash, and we come to you, Margaret. What are you, um... You're a hairstylist, are you? That's right, yes. Where, where's that? Where do you do that, then? In, um, near the city of London. In the... Cos I didn't ask you, did I, Tash? Where are you from? Did I ask Woodford you? Woodford Green. Woodford Green. I forgot in to Essex, ask you that. Yeah. In Essex, All right, yeah. then. Margaret, what do you think? Something that annoys you in a supermarket? Trolleys. Trolleys. People pushing trolleys. All right, wobbly trolleys. <laughs> Mine always goes that way. We're looking for <laughs> trolleys. <laughs> Wonky trolleys. Answer number two. Well played, Margaret. <laughs> 17 people agreed with you. Sam, what do you do? I'm a financial consultant. Oh, yeah? Yes. So if the family win money, you'll tell them what to do with it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right, then something that annoys you in a supermarket? So, um... Well, I'd say when you put your fruit in the bags and everything falls through at the bottom. Yeah? You put things in bags. Would annoy me. A split bag. A split, a split bag. bag. OK. We're looking for split bags. <laughs> Good answer, but it isn't there, so we lose a life. John and Vanessa, married couple. And yeah. how many kids have you got? We've got three. Three? Yes. Three. And another one on the way. Another one on the way. <laughs> Great, Vanessa. What have you got? Three boys. Three boys. So, do you want a girl or...? Not bothered. You don't mind? No, not all at right. all. Going for a football team? Mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, John? Um, things out of reach. High shelves. High shelves, OK. Things that you can't reach on the shelves. <laughs> Good answer, but not there. So, the Wibblins, you should confer because you might get a chance to steal on this one. Vanessa, I've got to go very carefully now. Things that are not priced. Things that are not, not priced. priced, OK. If things without the price on is one of those missing answers, we're still in this game. We're looking for things that are not priced. <laughs> no price shown. Well played, Vanessa. <laughs> well saved that life. <laughs> and, Vanessa, you get a prize with that. Steve, what have we got? With all those children, Vanessa, this should come in handy. You've won this super dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're going to need that. <laughs> have you got one? No. Oh, great. They're brilliant. Tash. Right. Difficult one. Um, one thing that does get annoys me is uh, kids screaming, sitting on the trolley, screaming their head off in the <laughs> supermarket. Yeah. Kids making a nuisance. nuisance of themselves. Yeah. He doesn't like your kids. <laughs> no. Kids making a nuisance of themselves. <laughs> it isn't there, so we come over. Lee. Not enough checkouts. Not enough yeah, checkouts. Yeah, Not enough Not checkouts. enough. You just get there and they close it down. You just they get there and they close it down. Mm -hmm. So they keep moving everything around. Keep moving everything round. Mm. Enid, what do you think? Any of those answers? Uh, or? I would go along with a, you can't find things. They've changed the shelves. Yeah? Put things in a different place than they normally are. Change things from the shelf you normally go to. <laughs> it isn't there, so the best. Let's get the first money. <laughs> well played, Tash. There are a few reveals, so there's only £43 after this first game to the Burdettes, and the Wibblins still had to score. And those missing answers, answer number six is... Push chairs. We don't mean the kids, we actually mean the chairs themselves. Answer number four is... Out of stock, things out of stock. And the most popular answer when we surveyed 100 people about something that annoys you in a supermarket is... Long queues. By the time you get there, everything's past its sell-by date. <laughs> All right, let's play on. Margaret and Chrissy now shake hands at the lectern. Margaret and Chrissy. Right. 100 people surveyed, top seven answers are on the board. We asked 100 people to name something you might wear even at a nudist colony. <laughs> Margaret. Fig leaf. A fig leaf. <laughs> All right, let's look for a fig leaf. <laughs> it isn't there, so Chrissy, can you uh, find your something? Your sunglasses. <laughs> you might wear your sunglasses. No. So, what we do at this stage is we come down the line, we ask you, Sam, for an answer. Shoes. Shoes. You might wear your shoes. <laughs> is the top answer. So, what do you want to do as a family? You're going to... You sure? Check with the family? No. Play. OK, rejoin your family. So, we've talked to you, Sam, we come to you, John, for something you might wear even at a nudist colony. Jewellery. Jewellery, all right? You might wear a piece of jewellery. <laughs> Nicholas, answer number four. And it wins you a prize, John. Well, these could come in very handy next time you're in a nudist colony. You've won these his and her watches. Oh, yes. thanks. That's right. Well played, John. <laughs> Vanessa, what do you think? A hat. A hat. <laughs> hat is answer number two. <laughs> Sixteen people agreed with you on that. So, Tash, what do you think? 
Handkerchief over your head. Handkerchief? I thought you meant, where are you going to put it? Over your head. Handkerchief over your head, all right. <laughs> On your head, you might wear a hanky. <laughs> we lose a life, so, Margaret. Cooking apron. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you're cooking the sausage, yes. <laughs> And it would be probably a good idea. Stop all that splashing. A cooking apron! <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the Wibblings might get a chance to steal. You should think of some answers. Sam? Arm rings or a lila or something if you're in the pool and you couldn't swim. Arm rings. What are you going to go with? Arm rings? Yeah, for kids. Yeah, you don't actually wear a lilo, do you? So we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Arm rings! No, so we lose three lives. Lee, what do you think? A headband. Headband. Julie? Suntan lotion. Suntan lotion. Mandy? Smile. Smile? Suntan lotion. Suntan, suntan lotion. lotion. Sorry. Enid? I would go with the suntan lotion. Suntan lotion. <laughs> it's not there, so we're going to get the money again. OK, we have got 91 pounds. And those missing answers. Number seven. A smile? Who said smile over there? Mandy, Mandy I bet you're not smiling now, <laughs> are you? No. Let's have a look. Answer number six is... A ring. You might wear a ring. And answer number five is... A wig. <laughs> answer number three is... A watch. OK, so when we said jewellery before, there were specific answers there. Right, let's play on. The next pair go over and join Les at the lectern. Sam and Mandy. Top six answers on the board. We asked 100 people to name a trade or profession where the truth is not always told. <laughs> Sam. Court. Lawyers. In court. <laughs> Lawyer. Answer number four. But, Mandy, <laughs> there are more popular ones. What do you think? Bank manager. Bank manager. <laughs> Let's have a look for bank manager. <laughs> no, it's usually you telling him lies, isn't it? All right, what do you think, Sam? You want to play or pass? Play. Play, play. Yeah. play. Yeah. Rejoin yeah. your family, play. Sam. When we come back to you, John, for your answer on this question, a trade or profession where the truth is not always told. Builders. Builders. <laughs> OK. <laughs> We're looking for builders. <coughs> no, we lose a life. You're all right, John. <laughs> Vanessa. The medical profession. The medical profession. Mm. What, doctors don't always tell you the truth? No. Not right. OK, we're looking for the medical profession. <laughs> Doctor, answer number two. <laughs> Sixteen people agreed with you on that one. So, Tash, what do you think? Um, probably a car salesman. A car salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Have you brought it in yesterday? Or if it was last year's model, not the year before? They're always... Let's have a look. Car salesman. <laughs> yes, top answer. Well played. 35 people agreed. Margaret? I should say my trade, hairdressing. 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 What kind of lies do you tell in the hairdressing business? Oh, a lot. Oh, that suits you. <laughs> <laughs> that suits you. All those little baldy bits, that really suits you. <laughs> Let's have a look for the hairdressing trade. <laughs> no, so two lives have gone again. The Wiblins, you might get a chance to get back in the game. Sam? The police. The police. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my answer, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> We're looking for the police. <coughs> no, so we come over to the Wiblins. Lee? A plumber. A plumber. Estate agent. 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 Yeah? Have you had some trouble buying your houses lately? Uh, just a bit. <laughs> just a bit. We're looking for estate agent. <coughs> yes, well played. Estate agent was the number six answer, scoring four. Wibblings have got £65 and the Burdettes are just in the lead with £91 as we go into the break. But before we do, we'll reveal those missing answers, which are... Number five, a car mechanic. <laughs> and answer number three is any ideas from our studio audience? Politician. No, you never know. Two answers there for that. Let's have a look. Politician. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well done, that lady. <laughs> We're going to take a break during which a lot of people are going to come to me and say, hey, we don't tell lies. <laughs> All right, in a couple of minutes, one of our families will have a chance to play for £3,000. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>
Sometimes we put off the important things, like helping to provide financial protection for your family if the worst should happen. Welcome to Smart Insurance. You're speaking to Lisa. How may I help you? Hi. Your advert for life insurance says I can arrange cover over the phone with no complicated forms. Yes, that's right. As long as you're a UK resident, age 18 to 64, you can apply for a benefit amount of £60,000 up to...